today is going to be a little bit different. We're working a plain closed detail in Brickell. It is going to be an operation with the county and our Brickell PSC team. So right now we're getting ready to head over to the Metro Mover. We're going to team up with the county now, get a rundown of exactly what this detail is going to entail. So let's catch up with them and see what they're doing. What's going on, brother? What's up, man? You would never know. You would never think. You got a PO over here, right? So you might notice I look a little different today. Out of uniform because we're doing a plain closed detail. I'm here with Sergeant Valdez from the uh, Brickle PSD, and we got. Officer Ray Goyos, a beat officer for Brickle. Now you guys are running uh, an operation with the county, right? That's correct. Can you give us a rundown? What's going on here today? Well, we're doing an operation today. It's called Operation Overhaul. We've been doing it uh, for the last three months. Um, we work really well with the county. We've had operations before uh, that we've worked together with. And obviously, since they have the access to the Metro Rail and to the uh, Metro Mover, uh, they have jurisdiction here. We don't, but they do. So we, we assist with them and uh, we work together as a team. Now, you're the team leader for this operation, right? That's correct. Yeah, participating today are the Brickle PST team, Brickle Beat team, and the uh, Miami Dade Police Special Operations Unit. And you guys are all in plain clothes, right? That's correct, that's correct. So this operation is basically uh, targeting public safety since it's on the transit system in Miami. That's now, correct. What is it that you guys are specifically uh, looking for? We target for uh, narcotics, also target uh, graffiti and also target uh, people uh, breaking into vehicles outside uh, the metro rail station. So you guys might be wondering, what about officer safety? We got officers here in plain clothes, including myself, and you're wondering what happens if we need to take action. Well, we're all carrying firearms. We have it concealed. Correct. We also have backpacks where we have you know, first aid or anything that we might need yeah. as an officer in the case of an emergency. So everything that we would need to do our job, we have it on us, it's just concealed, and the general public isn't gonna know. So these operations are very important that they're supervised by? Cor correct, at all times, at all times. These operations will not be conducted if myself or another supervisor is not involved in the operation. We wanna make sure that we have safety in mind when it comes for the travelers too. So, you know, anything, any action that's taken, we have to be even more mindful that there's pedestrians and there's bystanders around. That's why there's a lot of officers to make sure that they don't get hurt as well. We also have officers in marked police vehicles in full uniform. In the event we need to uh, take any law enforcement action, that officer will respond to the scene and have police presence. So right now we're gonna do a quick walk through. You guys were looking for uh, an offender that committed a robbery up here, right? Yeah, we had a gentleman that committed a robbery several weeks ago. Uh, the county's the lead in it, but obviously we're gonna assist them. Um, it was a strong arm robbery of a cell phone, I believe, and it was all, also in the news. So uh, they got the information, they got the picture of the subject and the video. So obviously we're, we, got, we got the description. And like I said, we're gonna go out to see if we see this guy today. So that's our primary concern, trying to apprehend that robbery offender. So we're gonna go ahead and get on up there. I know, I know that the county's waiting for us, the other members of the PSC team, they're waiting for us. So we're gonna be riding around in a plain clothes capacity right, and seeing what's gonna happen. transit system it'll loop you all the way around and it's for free you don't even have to pay anything to get on it so the transportation in Miami is all above the ground it's not like New York or other cities where it has a subway station everything here is going to be up so it's really great because as you're moving around you can actually see outside and you get a whole nice view of the scenery as you're moving around Well guys, we're here at the Riverwalk station, uh, right over the Brickle Bridge. We had a 29 here several weeks ago, and um, we're gonna look see if we see that 29 offender here. We'll take a little walk downstairs. So a 
29th, that's the code for? For a robbery. Robbery. Now, this was an armed robbery or a stunning snatch? Uh, it was a strong armed strong arm robbery. We had it about, uh, I would say, two weeks ago. So what they're gonna do now is actually take a walk around the, the area to see if the, the subject that pulled the armed robbery is here. The guy's here right now. We're gonna go ahead and take him into custody. So we have a nice team set up. They got the PSC team and you got the county out here looking for this guy. So if you guys are visiting Miami or you live here and you want to ride on one of these Metro Rail or Metro Movers, know that the Metro Mover is free, but the Metro Rail, you do have to pay for it. So we just jumped off the metro, we were riding around it for a little bit, no suspicious activity, everybody was conducting themselves properly. Now there's a, a hot spot over here for, for narcotics, right Sarge? That's correct, that so, we target on a weekly basis. This is right underneath the metro rail station, so the county has the jurisdiction in the metro rail and the Brickle PST has the jurisdiction on the ground, so both of them go ahead and are able to do joint operations when it comes to doing narcotic operations as well. So Sarge, I gotta ask you, if you're gonna approach somebody in plain clothes, the officer approaching somebody what's the first thing you guys have to do well my officers they all know they're instructed before they actually approach anybody uh, they have to identify themselves they have to actually physically show their police badge their credentials their ID and identify themselves as a police officer now the county officers that are out here are from the specialized operations section correct you know for Miami-Dade it's a plain clothes unit because they're usually in an undercover capacity I won't be filming them but they are here today correct Basically, we got a gentleman here, he's uh, drinking in public. Uh, one of our county guys uh, is writing him a civil citation for that. Uh, we also got his information, we're gonna run him, make sure he's cure you, uh, which means good, no warrants, anything like that. So that's basically where we're at right now. Awesome. And as if you notice, doing this contact, yeah. he has to put his badge out and identify himself as a police officer. Now some people are gonna be thinking, oh, drinking in public, that's not a big deal. But it's not just the drinking in public, it's the actual violence that stems from public drunkenness and that's the main thing that we're trying to combat here is some people drink and they get a little bit belligerent, they get a little bit too crazy and we get a lot of calls that actually come in for that. Correct. Well, I am sweating right about now and that's because we just sprinted to the cars. Officer Goyles, who's the team leader of this operation, he got a phone call of some narcotic activity that's going on right now. So whenever we get these tips and these complaints, we immediately try to act on it as quick as possible. So we're headed over there right now. I got Sergeant Valdez in the car with me. I'm riding shotgun with him and we're gonna go ahead and hopefully be able to take care of this complaint really quickly. Okay, I'm gonna need somebody just to take uh, south and north. And east. They're going. Let's follow the street. Let's follow the street. Approaching up the valley. Now somebody take the front. What are you doing as a support unit right now? Currently uh, doing the criminal history check. We grabbed everybody's licenses, making sure it's valid, uh, especially the driver. All right, guys, well, I'll let you get back to doing what you're doing. Thank 
So we're on the scene with Officer Cantero. Now, let us know, uh, how did that uh, CC check, the criminal history check, come out? So our criminal history check came out negative, and K-9 is a route to assist us with a vehicle. One in custody and one record. So what are you doing right now? So right now I'm completing the vehicle storage receipt which basically is documentation showing that we did tow the vehicle. So the driver is going to jail and there is no other person uh, with a valid driver's license so they can't take the vehicle. So the vehicle will be towed. So originally this was a, a tip called in by a civilian, correct? Correct. Yeah. So it goes to show you guys, if you see something, definitely say something because this tip turned into a controlled substance arrest, right? That's correct. Right, right, right by the Metro Road Station where we've been working with the county for several months already. Uh, that's how it came about. We got approached and they gave us information. Uh, some narcotics activity going on at a known location that we've, we've had narcotic sales before. It was the same vehicle, same description that we've gotten before. We saw a vehicle pull up, the vehicle was there, we saw a gentleman enter, the, we saw the transaction going on, we saw the vehicle come out, took a stop sign. We ended up uh, catching up to the vehicle, you know, after a sexual traffic, traffic stop. We got the car, we got a recovery, and we even had the K9 unit come out uh, for the county. The county assisted us. And, uh, and helped us out with that as well. All right, good job, good job. So once again, we want to thank our brothers in Brown. Good job, County. Always. Thank you, County, for coming out. So it's about that time for me to get out of here. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and subscribe. Have a good one. <laughs>